Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, I want to share with you this mini compound bench. So uh, this is the little bit more expensive one. If you've been looking out on the market, there's kind of like a cheaper one that was it's around 35 this is the 60 ish dollar one so i'm hoping it's a little bit better quality um so you know in the prior episode i took a look at that drill press stand and it's kind of alluding to a project if you will that i'm building and you can kind of see a little bit more where that project might be going with this but before we talk about it that might actually be another video, but I want to share what's in the box. So if you're interested in getting one of these, you know what comes in the box because this is one of the things I did some looking. I didn't find any really good unboxing videos, and that's what I like about unboxing videos is I like to see what I'm getting. Will it work for my project? Because right now, I don't know if this will work for my project or not. So I figured, yeah, for the money, I'd just give it a shot and see what happens. And... Uh, Seems to be taped up rather well. Okay, so I've got it out of the box. I put the handles on it. Inside the box, we have the two uh, step clamps. They are made out of metal. Looks like uh, actually steel. So not aluminum so that that's pretty good one of the things I was noticing as I was doing the assembly is you can kind of see let me get it in the center here this is how much play is in the axi and this one about the same before it even begins to move now my goal is not to turn this into a C and C but I still needed to have a lot better response than having a half turn before moving in any given direction um, so I'm going to have to see. Now, sort of like the micro mill, this does seem to be a push-pull system. And what do I mean by a push-pull system is, is it has these covers to keep chips from getting in here. So that's rather nice. But I believe what's happening in here is this rod pushes, either pushes against this or pulls against here. And that's why I, I, I personally refer to it as push-pull system. And in order for it to go when I change direction and I want to go back what happens you can feel it moving in there it's actually got to push it back till it comes to hit on this and then it finally moves in the same way going in this direction so what I have to do is kind of take this apart and what I might actually end up having to do is put some uh, thrust bearings in here just want to kind of look I don't actually see how these wheels attach. There's no screw in the front, and I don't see any type of set screw in this, so it it's probably threads in. Um, well, I have to do some work to get this apart to kind of see. I was hoping it, that this, this would easily come apart, and I could just pop it off, and I could show you guys right in this video how it goes together. Uh, it's a fairly good size uh, table, and the construction is not bad other than the uh, slop in it. And there's a little bit in this direction. I'm not kind of surprised. You know, it looks like threaded rods. It's definitely not Acme rods. So I don't expect this to be uh, super high precision, but I don't want it. I, I mean, I don't, shouldn't say I don't want it to be. I don't need it to be super high precision for what I'm going to do with it. But I do need it to be somewhat accurate um, for that. So I probably have to invest a little bit more work into this to kind of get it to where I want it. But I'll share that with you guys as I go through this. So anyways, uh, if you're wondering what it looks like, this is about what it looks like. Let's get some general measurements off of it for you guys. So I know there's some on the box, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, so I'm about four inches on center for this it's um, a little short of five you know uh, a little more than four and three quarters wide and uh, about five and a half deep from that aspect and this the uh, uh, X bed is actually pretty good at roughly at over 12 inches and then um, the Y is probably about six and a half inches so 
not bad uh, dimensions. And for 60 bucks, I don't think it was a, a bad table. And again, for the size, if you're looking for something like this, I don't know how easy, if you want to turn it into a CNC again, that's not going to be my intent. So I don't want to mislead anybody, but I do have ulterior motives for this that you'll see in an upcoming video that I'm going to put together. So uh, uh, anyways, if you get any questions about this, hit me up in the comments below. Do you have one of these? Um, if you do, you know, let me know in the comments. How did you go about fixing it, taking some of this... Uh, slack out of the uh, axi there so uh, again uh, my personal thinking is tightening this up with thrust bearing should probably take most of that out i don't know have you guys done it anyways bell's coming up over there hit that bell go down there and put out regular content uh if you got questions about it as always hit me up in the content uh, comments i'm always happy to help you guys out with uh, questions and uh oh you're not a subscriber what Hit that subscribe button and swag shops up in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we start putting all this stuff together. Cheers. Please click right below and subscribe to the channel.